Welcome back to another edition. Eat my shirts right here. The ranch here, smoking me a uh, rolled up floor sweep in a doom. Count the days till payday when we can become one with the universe again. Well, I'm already crabby today. Uh, I've been crabby. I woke up crabby. My hips out of place. My legs not working worth a damn. I went to go wash the shame off me from the sweat, and uh, the damn shower mat tried to pick an argument with me. And then I looked down, and there's gray hair everywhere down there. Time for me to get out the clippers. <clears throat> Been one of them days. And since I can't get much crabbier, uh, well, I, I did a dumb thing. I, I clicked on a Vice News video and uh, listened to a few minutes of it this morning. And these people are just so fucking stupid. I, I just, I can't not say this this morning. So the premise is that the cartel wars down in Latin America are the United States' fault. That we, being the largest production powerhouse of arms on planet Earth, and have been for well over a century, it is somehow us, the average gun owner's fault, that people in Latin America are shooting each other. Now, <clears throat> let me give you my honest opinion on the matter. This is complete bullshit, and I'm going to explain why. Do you know how many gun shops are in the United States? I'd wager it's millions at this point of FFLs. Do you know how many are in Mexico? One. There is one gun shop in all of Mexico. One. And most average Mexicans are allowed to have one firearm in non-military loading, okay? And yes, I think 38 Special and 357 are still technically considered military cartridges down there. They give you some indication of what you're limited to, okay? There's no hollow points, there's no extended magazines, none of all that. And there's no 9mm either, you're not allowed to have that. No, you gotta have 38 Super, which is not a bad cartridge, it's just not standard. And I think 45 is still a cartridge down there, 45 ACP, so you're limited with revolvers to 45 long colt. Okay, so the average Mexican is not legally allowed to defend themselves, or their property, or their life, liberty, or pursuit, whatever happiness they're allowed to have, right? That's just not a thing down there. Now, that doesn't mean they don't do it, it just means they get in trouble for doing it if they get caught and don't pay their bribe. <sighs> okay, so you have... An unarmed populace, at least, you know, face value here. And then you have a bunch of greedy buttholes that are selling drugs and trafficking children and doing naughty things and trying to out their competition. Well, how do you out your competition as a criminal? Does anybody have a show of hands here? Why, it's more firepower. So, if you can't get the firepower you need in your own country, where do you go? Well, the same place the entire world goes, that's where... Uncle Sam. So make no mistake about it, our government has funded the cartel in some capacity. If nothing else, through Operation Fast and Furious. Never mind the shit Ollie North pulled in Latin America. You know, with the whole Iran-Contra affair, right? He, by the way, he didn't do any real time over that. Anybody else, like you or I did that, they'd have hung us. Okay? So, I don't really want to hear it, Vice News. Y'all can suck it. Uh, second of all, they're blaming the United States for Brazil's laxening gun laws. Well, Brazil's been under a, a war, if you will, for years and years and years with crime and drugs and poverty. And uh, their president, Duterte Harry, uh, decided basically to reverse a lot of these very strict post-World War I gun control laws. And by the way, Brazil is one of the biggest arms manufacturers on planet Earth, right? They have Taurus, they have Rossi, they have a few others. They literally arm the entire world, yet their own people cannot buy any of their firearms. And I think that is a fucking travesty and a shame. And then these buttholes go on to say, well, the cartel are using 50 caliber rifles all the time to shoot each other. Do you know why? I know why. Would you like me to tell you why? I'm going to anyway. It's a trick question. I lied. I'm going to tell you. It's because popular culture and the media has glorified and rather vilified the Barrett 50 rifle and all of its variants, right? 
and they had become the infamous bad guys gun in Latin America, right? Much like the AK was when I was a little boy, now it's the Barrett. <sighs> that is the, the new evil black rifle, if you will. And, and by the way, Ronnie Barrett, when he was in charge of the place, he wouldn't sell his firearms to any country that wouldn't let the average person have one. Yeah. So, you know what? There, there's a lot of base dudes in the gun industry. Don't fucking get it twisted. They're not all like Bill Ruger or, or the executive cucks at Colt or the Springfield Armory buttholes. You know, uh, this annoys me to no end, right? Because they're comparing apples to feces, okay? Apples being the American gun owner that's law-abiding and does their job and, you know, is respectful of social mores and taboos regarding firearms. And then your criminal butthole, which goes out and begs, borrows, and steals whatever and sells it south of the border down Mexico away for a profit. <sighs> you know, it's funny because they crack down on drugs so hard, right? This bullshit war on drugs, which, by the way, that's over. Drugs won. You know, get with the 21st century dudes. Um, they crack down on that real hard, right? But yet, millions of military-aged men, women, and in some cases children cross the border every day and get free housing and ship to places where they get voter ID cards and some of them even get to be cops, right? Even though that's a fucking federal crime, anybody that's not a U.S. citizen be in possession of a firearm, that is a big no-no. And yet they let cash and guns flow across the border freely. Oh, sure, they might put on a little show and bust somebody once in a while that didn't pay their bribe, but... <clears throat> you know, and that's another thing, too. They're going to use this pandemic as an excuse to try and shut down elections. They're going to try. It's not going to work. <sighs> but as far as I'm concerned, until things get serious enough that they shut down the Mexican border, and the Canadian border, for that matter, because, you know, you must do for one what you do for the other, right? Although I have nothing against my fellow Canadian brother and sister freedom fighters, you know, uh, facts are facts. If it works this way, either everything is okay or nothing is okay. And if, if they're letting one thing go through, but not the other, well, that's wrong, isn't it? And it becomes a self-feeding fire that the, the media is leading the charge, right? You hear about fentanyl, this and fentanyl, that fentanyl is a, an extreme, limited niche tool to combat serious pain either from surgery or end-of-life issues okay it's it's an anesthetic as well as an opioid it is very effective and it is highly highly regulated yet old men like my father had a hell of a time getting their meds yet somehow magically you can buy this shit on every street corner which by the way if you know which street corner it's on in my local community point it out I, I will get some to test it out for you this is kind of research we do here with our gonzo journalism at the Broken News Network. But as far as I'm concerned, all these little puffery pieces that Vice News and the, the lefty media are doing are just trying to further gun control north and south of our American border because once you clamp down, then the squeeze is on and it runs down from the north and up from the south and just keeps pinching at our collective societal tit until milk comes out. <sighs> Don't even get me started on the drink your milk conspiracy this morning. I'm already crabby enough. But yeah, these motherfuckers, they, they were going to kill each other to begin with, whether they had help from America or not. These people are vicious animals and savages and degenerates. Well, I say animals in the term that they behave in an animalistic fashion. They're actually in no way, shape, or form animals. Because animals are actually, you know, decent and fun. Uh, these are just a bunch of fucking savages. They're going to do what they want to do. It's the same reason why it's illegal for a felon to carry a firearm, and yet most of them do it anyway every day because they just don't give a fuck. They figure they better get caught, you know, not needing it and having it versus needing it and not having it, right? Same concept with the cartel fucks. That's what they do. They, they wipe out their competition because there's a profit incentive. So if they really, really, really want to stop all this foolishness, just decriminalize drugs and cut them out of the equation, and there won't be any more fucking problems, and most of society's problems will flush itself down the toilet. And we won't even have to get the borax out. But as always, uh, 
I'm going to go and uh, get the rest of my shit done and feed Mama and uh, have a fantastic day. But this has been another Broken News Special Edition about Vice News and why they can eat my shorts.